Bombers and Bombshells, it's Claire from Fashion Bomb TV and we are here at the Joyrich LA showroom for our very first West Coast edition of Cocktails with Claire Closet Confessions. We have a very special treat for you today. We're interviewing stylist and designer Karuchi Tran. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Glad to finally meet I'm you and glad get to together. Meet you too. <laughs> so we're drinking your favorite cocktail, yes. which is a Moscow Mule. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did not know <laughs> when you said Moscow Mule what that was. So tell everybody if they don't know what a Moscow Mule is. It is a mix of ginger beer, vodka, and lime juice. So cheers. cheers. <laughs> Alrighty, and we're here to talk about style. You look adorable as thank always. Thank you, thank you. Who are you wearing today? I am wearing Sorella. Oh, she wow. is, I'm pretty sure you know who she is. Mm -hmm. um, Heather, she's an LA based designer. Okay. Also a good friend of mine. Okay. So she just sent me this cute little set. Really? <laughs> and <laughs> thank the shoes? you. Are Giuseppe. So normally for these, I ask you my questions. Uh -huh. But today I asked readers on Facebook, Twitter, the blog about what, what they would want to know about you. How did you start out in the industry? I was a personal assistant okay. and I was doing styling on the side. I see. And that's actually how me and Chris met. Oh, I see. So that was kind of like my footsteps in. Mm -hmm. um, I was assistant, I was an assistant to this um, stylist mm -hmm. and then I got into a relationship and then I yeah. kind of stopped, you know, right. working for a while, right. but that's where it all began. How would you describe your personal style? Whatever makes me feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I try to, you know, I'm very petite, I'm small, so I try to work with things that, um, you know, work best with my body type. Right. So, you know, crop top, um, two-piece sets. Yeah, um, basically I everything love. I can't wear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love a crop top, <laughs> but just because it gives me some kind of shape because I'm yeah. so small and little. Is it hard for you to find clothes since you're so petite? And where are the best, most affordable stores to shop for small frames? My favorite store to shop, period, is Topshop. And they have a petite um, section, which mm -hmm. is awesome for the petite girls. Right. Zara, you know, sometimes H&M. Name a favorite high-end brand and a lower-end brand you frequent. So my favorite thing to do, something like I'm doing today, I have on Giuseppe's with, um, you know, Sorella, which isn't, which is, you know, like Topshop. It's not um, right. high-end. Mm -hmm. I love like I said, shopping at Topshop and Zara and throwing on a Jimmy Choo or a Giuseppe or, yeah. you know, a pair of Pradas and right. making it look like, well, you know, what, what is that? Like, you know, whatever she has on, that looks good. But really, I'm just wearing what's, you know, down at the grove that any, any, you know, any girl can wear. So it's the high-end shoes and the affordable ensemble. Yes. Okay, but <laughs> who currently inspires your style? It's a mix of Victoria Beckham, Delicious. Yes, bow down. Bow down because she is the definition of class mm. and beauty and a woman, and that's somebody who I strive to be. Right. Yoko Ono, who is another classic beauty, and I'm gonna also say Vashti. Were you ever insecure about your petite frame? Definitely. You know, lately I've been a bit more confident in myself because I'm growing and maturing as a woman. Right. Um, but you know. The society that we live in, we glorify, you know, women that are curvier. And if, there's nothing wrong with that because women that are curvy are sexy and beautiful and, you know, they have a nice body. Yeah. I don't have that and I'm never going to have that. And I, I, you know, I refuse to get surgery or anything just because, you know, I believe God created you the way no, you're supposed to be. Right. Um, but, I mean, I definitely have been insecure. How do you deal with the pressures of media and any preconceived no notions about you while still pursuing a career that propels you further? That's an another thing that's hard because the media does and has said a lot of negative and, and you know, foul things about me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm at a point in my life where I'm trying to further my career mm -hmm. and grow and mature as a woman mm -hmm. for myself, you know, without being Before under anybody else, you know what I'm saying? Right. right, exactly. So it's hard because 
you know, the blogs can say anything and then the world will believe it. You know, people have came up to me and like, oh, well, I heard this and da da da. And I'm just like, <laughs> okay, thanks for telling me about my life, you know what I'm saying? Which is 80% of the time not true. What are you pursuing in terms of projects? A lot more modeling, uh -huh. philanthropy. I am 100% big on and I'm, I'm going to start pushing that. I'm thinking about starting, excuse me, my own foundation. I'm at this point where I'm, I'm trying to figure everything out, so I'm taking on acting and seeing if that's something that may be good for me or may not be. Right now I have a bunch of opportunities um, and different ventures that are coming at me and right now I'm just, you know, testing everything out. So are you ever surprised by how much people are into your style? Yeah. It, it goes again with the fame thing. It's kind of interesting and weird. Like, I'll go, you know, to the mall or whatever, and people will recognize me. And, oh, I love you, da, da da And it's weird because, like, I don't necessarily see myself as a, a celebrity or, right. you know what I mean? Like, I'm not a singer, I'm not a dancer, I'm not a, an actress yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm known by associ association. This is another reason why I try my best to be positive and, and you know, be a woman because I have realized that now a lot of girls do, are watching what I wear and what I do and I think today we need more classy, classy positive yeah. substance, in women. Well, amen. <laughs> I'll drink to all of that. <laughs> I love the Moscow meal, so let's cheers again. Cheers. Thank Pleasure. you so much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Took a long, long slurp of that. <laughs> but um, this was so fun. Thank and, you. And um, tune in next time for our next episode of Closet Confessions. Bye. Bye.